I always reach from spiritual and angelic guidance, I'm here to do a reading for Libra. Now this will be for this week starting the 26th of September and also October. So if you've seen my readings before, welcome back. Thanks for the support. If you haven't, welcome to my channel. I hope it resonates. If it does, please don't forget to share, like and subscribe. Don't forget though, it's a general reading. It is not going to suit everyone out there. So take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Also, time can be fluid, energy can be vice versa, so keep that in mind. All right, let's find out what's going on with you, Libra. Let me fly out. Discernment. And transformation. So it looks like working on yourself... Um, or needing to work on yourself also discernment you know look beyond the immediate appearances also I feel like you need to be grateful for what you have in your life because you know sometimes you may feel a bit down but I feel like you do need to you know be grateful for the things you have. Okay, so it looks like <clears throat> it's interesting. You've got kangaroo and kangaroo. You've got butterfly and butterfly interesting right so here though it's in reverse so transformation i mean it's number 23 th two and three is five so it's like you don't want to make a change or you know you're trying to avoid having to do this work on yourself um but i feel like you know you need to um with a kangaroo, it's all about sacrifice. There's something that, something you had to do, you had to give up something. Um, and I feel like it was some sort of connection that you had. Um, it was very sustainable. It was definitely... like breed like rabbits <laughs> it's like it was some sort of connection that there was some like I feel like you had to sacrifice and you saw this person as being you know somebody that you would have kids with or a family um, it was sustainable you know, that was the plan with the wombat. So something obviously changed. Um, something obviously changed there. Maybe you don't have romantic feelings for this person. You don't want to have new love. Um, maybe you're worried your person doesn't have romantic feelings for you anymore. But, you know, like if, if this to you is great love, if it really is, then you need to make the effort. It was like a slingshot. There was, it was there. Was something was uh, causing a strain, anxiety, um, making you stressed. You know, um, you felt like you were being pulled in opposite directions. You really need to do some sort of going within and soul searching and um, yeah, self reflection. 
you and this person are soulmates you could have been dating you're attracted to each other um there was long-term potential two of a kind um Yeah, it was like it could have been this romantic, you know, fairy tale. Um, but for some reason, there was a lack of uh, security or um, they didn't feel like they belonged. Um, Yeah, there was a lack of maybe maybe family came like um, poked the nose in, caused the tension. So I feel like somebody just had enough and they ran they got sick of like somebody needs to have boundaries right so if your family are getting involved it's like you need to put up a boundary so that they don't get involved in your relationship like that's yeah because somebody looks like in your family is a narcissist and your person is an empath so you know they're very giving and and they just couldn't cope with that anymore and they ran very different personality traits So there needs to be time to heal. Um, yeah, time is definitely needed. So maybe they're running, but only for a short period. Um, I feel like you enjoy each other. You're happy together, you know. The problem isn't you two as such, but you choose to not deal with something. It's like, I'm not dealing with that. It's too much. But once again, you haven't put up boundaries. You haven't said to your family, no, you need to do some inner work. your person could be passing up options they could be maybe you thought the grass was going to be greener over there and it wasn't um, but you seem to think this person isn't missing you you know there was definitely this split spill you know it's like you're thinking it's completely done um, all right let's see what the tarot has for you I think what I'm getting though is it comes back to you needing boundaries and yeah it's like you need to have a backbone
Okay, you had a couple of extras fly out. All right. So on the okay, let's start here. Let's start with what's the beginning. Okay, so the first card you've got is the Two of Cups and the Temperance in Reverse. So could have been a Sag, but there is definitely self-healing needed. Um, you know, there was a lack of stability. Um, somebody was not very flexible. Um, there was just an imbalance and... You need to, I, I want to say, because upright, the temperance is about you taking back power, you know, you being in control of you. And you need to have that maturity and wisdom, self-control, you know, to, and, and as I said, like a backbone to say, butt out, you know, like, um, because you know what, you and your person are like the two of cups, you know, it's like a sacred union. You're both mutually attracted to each other. You know, you and this person get along in harmony. Everything's fine. You feel like this person could be your kindred spirit. You know, there's compatibility. Um, maybe you liked each other from, you know, when you first met, but something has come between you so that you no longer have this you or the person have a dream of being with each other but you you need to take back own power because you can control what happens you're in control of you you're in control of who you date who you you know you're in control of that and some people are trying to get in between that you've got the six of wands and the king of cups like this person is very supportive they're very empathetic like i said um they're you know stable they're wise they're intuitive they're emotionally balanced they follow their heart they're decisive you know once they once they if there's something they want to do they do it um, and then you've got the six of ones so you know you can have success with this person you can have victory with this person you know but at the same time as I said, it all comes back to you taking back this power and saying to the outside influences, back off. This is between me and them, me and you. It's not between me, you and, you know, every other person that wants to butt in. And I feel like that's going to be a lesson for you. Um, It's definitely, there were some definite major karmic events that you've been through, you know, but this is destiny. This was, you know, fate. Um, I feel like a lot of good things were happening for you, you know. Um, yeah, like reclaiming power and rewards like you you made some changes and things were were going great you know with with you and your relationship and whatever else is going on with you with your job or money with the pentacles um you know but there were things that were you were you were having good luck you know you might have got promoted at work or something like that like you, you know things were happening that were really really good for you you got the five of wands 
and the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. I don't know whether you feel like you don't, you can't give this person what they want. Because with the Ten of Pentacles in reverse, this is like um, misfortune, dull, lazy, you know, like it talks about home, birth, um, home, then birth, and then primal mother on the card. And, you know, I don't know whether you, you have nothing to, like, because ten, 10 of Pentacles is about leaving a legacy. It's about wealth, inheritance you know, financial success, happy, stable family life, being comfortable, you know, and it's in reverse. So maybe you feel like you, you didn't have that to offer. Um, you had a lot of inner conflict as well. Like you were repressing a lot. Um, you tried to avoid conflict or somebody here tried to avoid conflict. Um, But I feel like that was really like heavy on your mind that you couldn't give this person, I guess, what they you think they deserved or they wanted. Um, oh, I've got two cards under here too. Then you've got the Magician in reverse. You've got the Ten of Swords and you've got the Fool and they're all in reverse. Um, I feel like somebody in your circle was being very manipulating. I also feel like there's a lack of willpower. You're not manifesting what you want. Um, with the Ten of Swords in reverse, it's like resisting an inevitable end. Um, I want to say this person finds you very, very beautiful, but They don't want to have an ending with you with the fall in reverse though it's like um they don't want to be a free spirit they don't um they don't want to you know have to have a new path and beginning and um but at the same time they're not they don't have the wisdom to realize that or they didn't have, maybe they do now, I don't know, I'll have to ask, but they didn't have the wisdom to see what was going on. On the side, you've got the Nine of Swords, the Three of Pentacles and the Five of Pentacles. Like... I want to say you work together well as a team, um, but it's also about you learning. So, which is what I just said before about you weren't seeing, you know, what somebody was doing to try and come between you or, you know, whatever. Um, but you're learning. It's all about recognizing. It's about learning. Um, teamwork and with the five you know it's you need to look at your life lessons and learn from them like stop playing the victim you know because you keep going through these these um cycles of you know bad luck bad luck bad luck but why is that there's a reason for that you know, you could feel like left in the cold by this person. You could feel um, depressed and, you know, rejected and, you know, all those things. Like I'm such a victim. 
but you need to really examine the, your life lessons and you know part of it is you know part of your lesson this time is I guess to have a backbone to not let people interfere to um I guess find out why somebody or why people are kind of coming between you when they shouldn't be. Um, yeah, like are you willing to sacrifice this this situation? You know, you really need to look beyond those appearances, like look beyond why somebody is doing that, why they're trying to cause problems. Um, you might even get some answers in your dreams with the nine of swords. Um, but you know, this causes like anxiety, worry, fear, you know, obsessive thoughts, you know, overactive mind. So you're probably not sleeping all that well. Um, but somebody feels like they didn't get closure. You've also got the Ace of Wands, which is like a new beginning. But there is definitely on the bot the top of the pack, you definitely had the King of Wands. And the King of Wands is about, you know, somebody who has made a sudden decision. Um, taking action, you know, they are a leader. They are confident, decisive, um, they know what they want and what they don't want, I guess. Um, Ace of Wands here as well. So you've got the Ace of Wands here and the Ace of Wands here. So, you know, it's all about new beginnings. It's about maybe you had some sort of false start with this person before. Um, but you've had to learn, you've had to learn a lot that, you know, you want to be with this person, you want a high level of commitment with this person, you want to be married, whatever this is, right? Um, I guess, you had to prioritise this person, otherwise... And I guess that didn't happen, and that's why the tower. And now you just feel like you're in a hermit mode, you're feeling like, you know, you're alone, you're feeling, you know, you're having to do that introspection. You're thinking a lot. You know? And... You're resisting the change. You're feeling like depressed. You're feeling dissatisfied, unfulfilled, you know, but you're definitely going through this period of contemplation. You're going through this period of um, introspection. There's things that need to change. And if this is, as I said, if this is what you want, then you need to make this happen because I feel like you do want this person but you're letting people come between let me get one more card can i have an outcome card please yeah like you're in mental anguish right now you know, you need to have the courage to kind of stand up and and be determined to, you know, whatever deception this other family member, person, whatever is causing, you know, it's like you need to be brave and you need to say, like, enough is enough. This person is getting in between. There's three people. Like, see, they're trying to squeeze in between you and your person. See? And there they are trying to squeeze in. 
they're trying to come between you and you need to be a leader and what happens if you do you stand up to this person then you have a new beginning fresh hope Like, your person has the best of intentions with the Roadrunner. But you need to take the first step with the Flamingo because this person is very loyal. They're very... The King of Wands, they're very, um, they're like an honourable spirit. They, you know, I feel like this person is a good person. I mean, you've been trying to do this balancing act, but it's like enough is enough. And you've had some sort of foresight. Yeah, this person that came between you is it's just all about them. Which one more? And unfortunately it's caused a lost opportunity. If you don't make any changes and you don't make any decisions with the two of swords in reverse, it's like, oh, I'm at an impasse. I can't, there's nothing I can do. What do you want me to do? Um there's nothing I can do. You're in denial and you're choosing to not do anything. So if that's the case, it will be a lost opportunity. I guess if you make the change, the Ace of Cups. New love, which, you know, like a fresh beginning. I guess it's up to you. All right, that's what I have for you. Um, Libra, please don't forget to share, like, and subscribe. And I'll catch you with the next reading. Thanks for watching. Bye.